Hey guys, if you guys did not know yet, I actually got YouTube partnership on July 9th, 2010. So thank you guys so much for your support. You guys helped me get to this. So thank you for getting me to my goal. And you guys are awesome. And we're just going to keep everything as they are with just, you know, awesome banners. All right. So another thing is I really want you guys to check out this video made by my friend on YouTube. His name is First Rush Neo. Um, I'll leave a link in the description. He actually put together a video for me, which is awesome. Um, if you guys can watch it, go over there, go to his channel and thank him for his hard work on the video. And I hope you guys enjoy the following video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to image map a picture. Now, if you don't know what image mapping is I have an example on my YouTube channel so you guys can see this top banner right here which is limited to YouTube partners by the way because a few of you guys were asking me how I got this so if you notice that if you hover your mouse over a certain area on the picture or for example I hover my mouse over the, the Twitter icon you guys will notice there is a link at the bottom of your web browser and if you click on it it will lead you to my Twitter page so simply that's what image mapping is it's like adding a hyperlink to a certain area of a bigger picture okay so I'm gonna show you guys how to do that in this video now you don't have to necessarily be a YouTube partner to do this I mean it's great if you're a YouTube partner and you can do this but if you want to add an image map to your website or a blog or whatever it is you have then it's totally cool you can totally do that so first off what I do recommend you guys do is making an image obviously so assuming that these words do make sense so let's just get on with that and what you need to do is upload it to a site called photo bucket but if you have a other photo sharing website that you prefer then go ahead and use that it's really no big deal so I've uploaded my image now what I want to do is select the direct link and copy the link so I'm gonna go onto a site called imagemaps.com which I will leave in the description of this video so they give you two options from your PC or from a link I did try from your PC but didn't really work for me so that's why I told you guys to upload it to another website now if you don't like using online websites to image map your pictures for some reason there are alternative programs you guys can do this with you guys can search free image mapping programs on google or something like that and i believe there will be loads of them or if you're experienced and you know how to actually image map programs using gimp or photoshop you guys can use those programs as well so i just post my link here and i'll hit start mapping your image if everything goes well then there should be a new page that says congratulations your upload was successful and you just hit continue to your next step so this is actually where the real image mapping takes place so you get two options you're going to be focusing on first off there will be rectangle and custom shape um so if you don't have buttons like i do like a rectangle button and you have some wacky shape you want to use then you might want to hit custom shape I have a rectangle in this case so I'll just hit rectangle and you will get a highlighted box and you can ship shape it to whatever you like so I'll just shape it to a rectangle at the bottom it'll say link for this map you just simply put in your link so let's say I want to link this to my website I'll just put my website right here and hit save alright so everything should be good so I want to show you guys a little example here. So let's say you actually have a custom shape. Um, so I'm going to be using this and pretending it's a custom shape. Okay, so all you have to do is kind of go around it. And you really should be good there. And then you put in your link. I'll put in my link right here. Let's link it to Twitter. And um, you, also I didn't go over the title. If you want to add a title, like for example, this is... Twitter and you can do that but if you don't want to it's fine so I can put this title website but if you don't want to it's fine alright so uh, I'll just do two in this case and once you're done with that just hit get your code you'll be led to this page and it'll have uh, information on CSS and HTML code I do recommend you guys choose HTML because that is the simplest one there or at least in my opinion so just hit HTML output and you will get a little sample here of what your image is going to look like. Go to HTML code to actually get the code. So I'll just get my code here and I'll be uploading it onto my website. 
I'm using my UCOS website in this example and I'll just paste the link go to save so I go to my website and go to the bottom you guys will notice the image right there so let's say I go to Twitter and it will lead me to Twitter you guys can see the image map actually takes effect and I'll go to the first one I guess I kind of put in the wrong link anyways um so that's how image map works it's really simple and fast if you're especially if you're using that website I do recommend that website it's totally safe I use that for my YouTube banner if you guys are interested and it works pretty awesome alright so um, that's all I've got for you guys now um, thank you guys for checking out this video and if you guys have any requests on a specific tutorial you guys want me to um, do then feel free to leave it in the comments or go to my website and submit a tutorial at requested tutorial so anyways, that's it for now, and I will be seeing you guys in my next video.